Hey guys, welcome to my channel Indian Pythonista where we talk anything and everything related to Python programming and today's video is about how we can display images in the terminal itself. So let me start off by giving you a very simple demo. So let's say you have an image like this and you want to see it on your Linux terminal. So look at that, how will it look like when I will run my program. So this is the actual image and here is my image on um, being shown on the Linux terminal. So this is what we are going to do in this video. We'll be writing a very simple Python script which is able to achieve this particular target. So without any delay, let's get started. Let's get st okay, so before we start with our Python script, we need to understand a few concepts here. The first thing is that there is no concept of pixels in a Linux terminal. So in a Linux terminal, all you have is something called blocks. So as you can see, this blinking cursor, this is representing one block. So what this implies is that there is a, there is surely a limitation on the resolution of the image which we can um, use for showing the for displaying the image on the terminal because this particular block of this particular block is taking a lot of space so um, let's say if we take a if we take an image of resolution 100 then we can only have 100 blocks and each block will be representing um, a single pixel of my image so that is what we have to do so a single block will be representing a single pixel and that's why um, we need to have an image of a bit lower resolution because let's say if the image is of very high resolution then that complete image cannot come in this um, given area okay so that is the thing that we need to understand and also um, the color of a single pixel will be the color of a single block that we are showing here so now the next question comes how do I print colors on the terminal right so how do we do that so for doing that you need to understand that the Linux terminal has the support for um, showing the colors and that is achieved by using some ANSI escape sequences so let me show an example look at that what I get here is that I have written hello world in which there is a green background so how how are we able to achieve it so as you can see that the thing that is getting printed is just this much but all this thing that we have here is actually giving some hint to the printer that what should be printed so this is uh, some kind of an ANSI escape sequence which specifies what should be the format of the text which is being printed so there are three parts in which we specify the format like we here we have 48 5 and 2 48 which is the first part specifies how uh, what should be the style of our um, text which can be bold italic or anything then there comes the color of the text and finally we have the background color so if you need to know more about it you can check out my another article uh, on my blog which is formatted text in Linux terminal which I explain using Python so you can check this out for a more deeper understanding I'll be providing the link in the description below so um, what we need right now here is that we, we want to print a single block of color so for that I just represent uh, I just replace I just replace hello world with a space so this is the space that I have here and if I if I try to run the code look at that I get a block of green color so if I just use this print statement and I run my Python script then a block of green color will be printed um, on the terminal so that is what exactly I want right but now I need to know how do I know which color I am talking about right because here it is written 2 if I replace 2 with 3 I will get some other color if I replace it with let's say 0 I get some other color right so what we see from here is that some special kind of coloring scheme is being followed here and this is what we call a an ANSI color palette so let's take a look at some ANSI color palettes here so ANSI escape sequences help in defining a color palette and the most common color palette which is being used nowadays in the Linux terminals is the 256 color palette which simply means that you can define only 256 colors in your palette and it is basically a 8-bit code for defining your color and as you can see that 2 raised to power 8 is 256 so you have only 256 colors which you can use for showing your image so right now this is what we will be able to use because we are using the Linux terminal only so now um, the problem comes here the problem is that the image that we'll be having the data in the image like which pixel represents what color will be uh, obtained in RGB format so what we need is we need a program which is able to convert a given 
RGB color format into some ANSI color code which is the 8-bit color code so that is what we need to do and while I was surfing through um, some stack overflow questions and their answers I found this one which was quite convincing so here is a solution which helps you to um, write a function which can convert your given RGB color code to the ANSI color code which you can use for printing a particular color in the terminal so since this is in JavaScript we converted it to Python and here is that particular function so this function takes R, G and B values and it provides you a single integer value in the range 0 to 255 which represents the ANSI color code okay so in order to use this particular function I have written another function which is called get color which takes your RGB values and it returns you this particular code which you can use for printing a block so let's try it out first so now if I uh, let's say I want to do print get underscore color in which let's say I pass 255 comma 0 comma 0 so since I am passing the value of R as 255 G0 B0 it means that I should be able to get a red colored text and look at that I got that red colored text right so if I just replace um, if I make it 0 255 0 I get green and if I replace here 0 and I make it 255 for blue blue pace look at that I get a blue colored text so now I know how to get colored blocks and I also know how to print them on the Linux terminal so what we need now is to just download or you can say load our image using some um, using some code and then just go through its array of the RGB values and just print them line by line on our terminal so that is what we need to do now so in order to load an image um, I'm gonna use PIL which is the pillow library um, from PIL import image so if you need to install PIL all you need to do is you have to do um, pip install pillow so pip install pillow will install the um, pillow library for you and it is a very nice library for image manipulation so we are gonna import from PIL import image and another thing that we'll be needing is some call, something called numpy so I will be doing import numpy as NP so this is an image uh, this is um, a third part another third party library for dealing with um, highly efficient highly performant arrays multi-dimensional arrays so for installing that you need to do pip install numpy so once that is done we are ready to load our image so I have an image called doc.jpg this is the image on my desktop so I'm just gonna do uh, img image is equal to image.open um, I'll pass the name of the image doc.jpg and I have got my image if I just try to see it look at that this is the image that I have now what I need to do is I need to um, check the shape of my image I get the shape okay so it's um, size the size of my image is 320 cross 312 right so um, I will need to change my sh the shape of my image a bit so that it is reduced it is downscaled to some less pixels so that I am able to show it on the terminal okay so for doing that what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna specify a fixed height let's say 100 so there will be 100 blocks uh, which will be used like 100 blocks here will be used as the height of my image and in that case I need to uh, calculate the value of W which is going to be a very simple calculation which is img dot um, width divided by h multiplied by your so it's img dot height multiplied by your height so in this way the ratio will be maintained and finally I convert it to some integer okay so this is the required height and width that I need so right now we will be downscaling our image and we will be having this particular height and width so now let me convert uh, let me downscale my image by doing img is equal to img dot resize in which I will pass the um, new size um, and the size is passed in the terms of width comma height and then I can also specify something called anti-aliasing which will not show some broken edges in my image as I um, change its size so I'm just doing image dot anti-alias here so now 
let's try to see what is the size of my image now look at that the size of my image is now 102 comma 100 so I have downsized my image so that I can show it properly on the terminal and now the time is to convert it to some array so how do I get the details of each pixel by converting it to an array so I am making something called image array which is equal to np dot as array so this will show my image as an array to me and now if I just try to see image underscore array look at that we get an array it's a multi-dimensional array right so image array dot shape tells me that my image is of 100 comma 102 comma 3 so basically the height is 100 which means that there are 100 pixel there are 100 rows 102 columns and finally each pixel contains three values which are the R, G and B values okay so now what I need to do is I need to write some loop in which I can take each pixel and print it on the terminal okay so for doing that I'm writing a loop for X in range H for Y in range W so what I get here is a pixel which is equal to image underscore array X comma Y so I use this indexing technique to get that particular pixel and now what I need to do is simply do print get color so in get color function what I have to pass is the three values which are the R G and B values so how do I do that I do it like this pix 0 comma pix 1 comma pix 2 so these are the three R G and B values which I'm gonna pass here and also I do not want a new line to be printed after I print one particular pixel so I'm just doing and equal to an empty string and also after I print one pixel and then another pixel comes I do not want a space in between so I, se so I put the separation as another empty string so in this way um, I'll be able to achieve what I need and finally once a complete nine is done I need to move to another line for printing further so this is all I need so let us try it out okay so um, let me just make the size of this particular um, screen a bit small so look at that we got the image somehow here right but Jupyter Notebook is actually not able to show it in a very proper way but we'll be able to see it on the terminal in a much proper way so let's try it out on our terminal so I have already written some code for doing this particular thing so here is the same code that we did on the Jupyter Notebook and now I'm gonna run this script on my terminal so I have to just do python3 test.py which is the name of my file and let me run it okay and now let me decrease the size of my terminal and here we go we have got the image um, this is the same dog image that we have got here and here is the actual image and here is our pixelated image being displayed on the Linux terminal so this is how you do it it's quite easy to do all you need to know is that how do we um, print colors on the terminal right so that is all we need to do and I hope the concept is clear I hope you enjoyed it if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching